Welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. This is going to be our last recording for the year, although we do have a couple pre-recorded episodes that we're going to roll out over the festive period. We've been a couple weeks into our YouTube channel, so thank you to all of you that have supported us and thank you for the comments and liking of our, of our content that we've been creating as each little bit goes a long way for us as we start up this channel. We're gonna be running through four new styles. Some of them are just variations of current best sellers that are currently up for pre-sale on our website and will be out for delivery in the first half of next year. And what we're gonna be doing is running through each one of them and just chatting a bit more in depth on the specs. kick things off let's go into our african ranger in a limited edition african buffalo skin so this boot we have decided to run a limited edition of 1600 pairs only and what makes this boot so special is the leather that it is made from so here in south africa we have a quite a large population of african buffalo and through disease control measures and population control Hundreds, if not thousands, of these buffalo are removed from our reserves each year. Everything on these buffaloes is utilized from the horns to the meat, even down to the hooves. And the only byproduct that goes to waste happens to be the skin. So we thought something has to be done about this. So what we did, and it was a bit of a logistical nightmare, is that we sent out a salting and skinning team into one of these reserves, and they professionally gathered these skins. We've then picked them up and they are currently at our tannery and we're going to be turning them into leather to manufacture this limited edition once off African Buffalo Skin African Ranger. One thing to note and which makes this boot quite unique and special is that due to the conditions that these African Buffalo are living in, the leather and the boots will vary quite differently in look and, and texture of the leather. On the website, we have put sort of one extreme to the other of examples of how the boots can come out. So now we'll move on to the legend of our range, the Razorback. And what we have decided to do here is combine two styles together to give you something really unique. So here in South Africa, which is currently only available in South Africa, is a boot that we refer to to our 4x4 boot. And it comes with this Afrique leather that has a, a printed texture on it. It is a bovine leather, and as I mentioned, it's just a print, which gives it this unique look. And what we decided to do is come out with a run of Razorbacks in this Afrik leather with our standard brown leather collar. And then the biggest addition and biggest change to those that currently own a pair of Razorbacks will be in the tire sole that we have added onto this boot. Now this tire sole is fairly firm, so what we have done is that we have run a layer of EVA between the midsole and obviously connected to the, to the tire tread itself. For those of you that are big fans of our Razorback, this will be a great, unique addition to add to your range. So now we're going to be moving on to two brand new boots that are up for pre-sale. And what makes these boots so special is that they still have our Jim Green touch. Although after many requests, we have developed a more narrow fitting last. So let's start off with the boot version on this new last. So this boot we refer to our, as our Bayabab boot. Uh, you'll see that this boot has some wear and tear on it. And that's because it was one of the very first final samples that we put together that I've been wearing for the last uh, couple of weeks. And I've really been loving this boot. And it goes very nicely with a pair of chinos or with a pair of jeans. So why is this Baobab boot so special and so unique? So we wanted to create a boot to celebrate our 30 years of existence. And what we did is that we took the legend of our range, the Razorback, and combined it with a new kid on the block, our African Ranger, and we put together a boot that has the benefits of both of those. So you'll see we've got a single piece vamp, which we've taken from the Razorback, and we've got very similar facing that we use on the African Ranger. Now these two specs, they combine with a nice new narrow last to give you a very fashionable and unique looking boot. And now the good news doesn't end there as we have also developed a mini lug sole. So 
Here you can see we've got the new mini lug sole that's not as aggressive as our standard JG sole that is that can be found on our Stockman and Razorback and various other boots. And this mini lug sole we have also combined with a layer of molded EVA. So as you can see that the EVA goes from quite thick in the heel and then tapers down into the toe area to give the boot a really good look and a very nice uh, toe spring on the front. This boot we're going to be running in the Houston brown leather that you see here and the Houston charcoal. It's almost like a matte looking leather. Uh, it ages really, really well. And both of these boots are also up for pre-sale on our website. So now, in addition to this new last, we decided that we needed something a little bit more simple, yet still with our traditional Jim Green rugged touch. And that is where we came in with a new shoe called the Shuli. So as the name describes, what we wanted to do here is that we wanted to take the formal look of a shoe and combine it with the simplicity and ruggedness of a felly, and hence the Shuli. I myself have been wearing a pair for the past three months now as part of the Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome. And right now in South Africa, while we're having a really warm summer, it has been a great addition to the range and I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing my pair. Currently on our website, the Shuli is, is on pre-sale and we are running it in the Houston Brown material, which is the same that is on the Bayabab boot. And once again, because we have had such great feedback on our Crazy Horse Fudge material, we are running the Shuli in this too. So depending on how you treat these two leathers, you could come out with a great looking, great looking simple shoe option for everyday use. So I'm going to briefly run through the new styles for next year. And in the comment section below, if you guys could let us know which one of these styles appeals to you and let us know if you have any suggestions for styles that you might want us to look into down the line. So African Ranger in the limited edition African Ranger Buffalo skin. And for those uh, new to this channel, for every 10 pairs of this boot that we sell, we donate a pair to a Ranger in need. And as of the end of 2022, we would have done 1,500 pairs of donations which is beyond what we ever thought uh, this whole idea and project will come to. So thanks to all those that have supported the project. And for those wanting a limited edition run, then this boot is the one for you. For the Razorback lovers, there are many of you out there. And for those that use the boot, you'll know that this is one rugged option. And once again, we have come out with something a little bit more unique, something with a different sole, something with a little bit more added comfort. So for those that love their Razorbacks, this would make a great addition to your range. And now onto the more fashion side of things, our Bayabab boot and the Shuli. So Bayabab boot is, for me, I think is going to be uh, another legend of the range. And why do I say that? And that is purely because this boot is for everyone. Everyone can enjoy this boot and it is designed for everyday comfort whether you're out on the trail or walking the streets. And one thing that I did forget to mention earlier on is that we are using a leather lasting board on this boot. So many of you have requested that uh, we add a leather midsole to the boot. So what we have done here is that this boot goes uh, leather lasting board, then onto our, our woven polyester board, onto your EVA and then the rubber sole. So there's a lot of comfort combined with the Jim Green ruggedness and obviously a very unique and good looking boot. As for the Shuli, it's pretty simple. This is something that you can wear for those warmer days or for those days where you wanting to go into the office, not really wanting something that's too hard on your feet. And for myself, I've really enjoyed wearing my pair over the last few weeks. I've worn them nearly every single day to the office. And I'm finding them very user-friendly, especially for going out for dinner when I'm just wanting something with a little bit more of a fashion touch. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And as I said, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, comment below on which of these styles um, appeal to you. And we will see you in 2023.